Hey, what's up, guys? This is Dwight here, Retro Crypto YouTube channel. It is November 20th, 2024, at 4.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the good old US of A. Got an exciting Cardano video for you guys. You guys know I've been a Cardano fan for a very long time, before the previous bull run. Um, and it's coming to fruition. I mean, I'm pretty excited. I hope you are, too. All you naysayers out there, jokes on you. Everybody's laughing at you right now. Hey, BitBoy. Hey, Ben Armstrong. Yep, yeah, we're laughing at you, bud. You, you, ah, don't, I don't even got no words for him, man. I used to be a big fan of that guy, but he changed. But I also believe the true colors always comes out. Truth always comes out, you know what I mean? You always know the truth in the end. All right, so anyway, as I digress. Also, by the way, no, let's not forget Robin Hood. Don't forget what Robin Hood did, how they delisted Cardano. The second there was a rumor that the SEC was coming after them, and they delisted them, and now they're going to relist them. Psst, I wouldn't use them. There's a lot of options out there. But with that said, we're going to do some technical analysis. I want to cover some news on this project. Uh, what's the hoopla? What's going on in the background? If any, of this, if any of this interests you, please stick around. But before we get started, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just an ordinary guy out there on the internet with a passion for cryptocurrency. It's essential that you do your own research before making any and all financial decisions. All right, guys. So that's taking dive right in. You see Cardano's up right now at 10% for the day. I'm currently using CryptoBubbles.com, if, .net, if you're curious. Um, Cardano's in a number nine market spot. It is currently at 80 cents, guys. This is beautiful. It's not no $3. It's not a $3 range, but it's not a $3 range yet. But you know it's coming. And I hope you took the advantage of the situation when it was down. Ugh. We'll look at the charts in a minute. But yes, Cardano has a, a I predict, a $5 to $8 Cardano easy. All right. Um, now, right now, Cardano has a market cap of $28 billion, $650 million. Dollars that is freaking amazing. The 24 hour volume for Cardano is 4.1 4. 4.4 billion 140 million. This is crazy, guys. It is crazy to watch this market cap as it explodes. I mean, freaking Bitcoin has a market cap of 1.87 trillion. You know, I remember when it was like, it, I think it was like, it was around 300 billion, I think. But, I mean, it's absolutely amazing. But, anyway, as I digress, I keep saying that. I got to stay focused. I can't stay focused with the way the market is right now. Um, I don't know if you're – for a while, I was suffering from being – I don't want to call it depressed, but the anxiety, the stress, hoping I'm making the right calls with my financial well-being, my family's financial well-being, and to see it all come to fruition is absolutely amazing. So, let's just jump right in because I'm going to keep blabbering away. All right, so right now you're looking at the eu2xo.org. This just shows you the transactions taking place on a Cardano blockchain. So when you're hearing that there's no transactions on a Cardano blockchain, just come in here and see what's going on, all right? It's pretty exciting stuff, and it's pretty cool. It's very cut and dry. One of the confusions with UTXO model is when you're looking at the transactions taking place, there's a lot more of transactions taking place because they're wrapped up um with the utxo model so it's not like cardano's not per transaction all right the transactions are are bundled up all right uh this is a clear example and i just like to show you guys this so you know you get in here and you play around with it for yourself now again this is called eutxo.org and yeah educate yourself play with it i'm a charts guy but i love looking at stuff like this because this is the behind the scenes the meats and meat and potatoes that you know, a lot of uh, influencers have failed to influence you in the right direction because they chose not to show you this good stuff. Another thing you guys need to start doing is look at Tap Tools, taptools.io. For some reason, Cardano, but they're finally starting to be carried by more exchanges and et cetera. But Cardano projects just weren't being picked up. I think it's due to nefarious, um, nefarious attempts by evildoers, in my opinion, that's what I say. But not really evildoers, but, you know, they're suppressing the market and um, the market share of Cardano. And Cardano is going to win because it is superior. It has never gone down, unlike Solana and other projects, all right? Um, even Bitcoin and Ethereum have both had issues that, a long time ago, but they both had significant issues. Um, 
And here we go. I mean, Cardano is just, it's got a whole ecosystem of its own and it's not really tapped into yet. And I've, I've, I've really been trying to decide how I want to go about tapping into it more aggressively. But I think uh, right now I'm just stocking up on my, my ADA personally. Now, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just an ordinary guy out there in it with a passion for cryptocurrency. One project I do like though in here is Snack. It's just a meme coin, but it's from the previous bull run and it's still around. You see where I'm going at with that, right? <laughs> All right, let's, let's go right into the charting for Cardano. All right, so this chart here, I thought this was pretty interesting. Uh, now, this is the percentage increase from January 1st, 2024 to today. All right. Now, Cardano is down here at the bottom right here, and it is up 27.63% from January 1st, 2024. All right. Now, the next one up, the purple guy here, that would be Ethereum. Ethereum's up 40.30%. And the next one up is XRP, this dark purple right here, and that's up 80.26%. And then Solana, which is the green one, is up 236%. And then you have Sui, which is absolutely on fire. And Sui, I'm sorry, nope, Bitcoin. Where's Bitcoin? Next up, next up, you have Bitcoin, which is up 131%, which is right here. And then we have Sui up here, which is up 483% since January 1st. Now, why am I telling you this? Because like, I thought this was a Cardano video. Well, it's good to understand what's going on with the overall market. And if I were to tighten this up a little bit, let's see what it tells us. So let's say for... Cardano's moving rapidly. It's still at the bottom. <laughs> uh, nope, nope, incorrect. Cardano's actually up significantly, 104%. So it's in the upper epsilon of movement if we tighten the range down to October, okay? But um, still very interesting to me. It's extremely interesting. Um, I, I need to, let's just change this right now because these colors aren't working. So we're going to make this one white. So Bitcoin is white, so we know what we're looking at now. All right, so Bitcoin's right here. Bitcoin is up 43% since October 1st. All right, uh, Cardano is doing great. It's up 109%. And then the only one leading Cardano is Sui, which is up 117%. Now that's from October. So, I mean, it's exciting stuff, guys. I don't know how to <laughs> express it more than that. But anyway, all right, so let's go. Let's keep moving forward here. All right, so what you're looking at here is a market cipher open source version that you can use on TradingView. It's absolutely free. Now, you will notice that I have upgraded the Wu Manchu B version with, I mean, I'm sorry, A version with this RF being BNS signals for the sell and buys. It's a much easier way to look at it, identify what's going on. So right now, you're looking at Cardano on a daily chart. And a daily chart, you have a... Um, Change for previous trend that shot off on November 7th, a long signal right there at a little green dot, bullish continuations, a bearish continuations, bullish, bullish, a one bearish and bullish, and a buy signal that fired off. Now, that's on a daily chart. Now, if we look at this on a four-hour chart, this starts off on November 15th with a buy signal, a lot of uh, uh, bullish continuations, a couple bearish, but mainly a lot of bullish continuations, which is pretty interesting. Now, on the two-hour chart, uh, we have a change for previous trend. Well, actually, no, the two-hour chart is, a little, it is actually very interesting. Because on the two-hour chart, from the 15th, you have a, um, a sell signal, then a long signal, a change of previous trends, a lot of bullish continuations, a bearish continuations, a lot of bullishness. And then you had a short signal that fired off on November 16th, and you had a blood diamond and a sell signal fire off on the 17th. Uh, then some bearish continuations, a couple bullish, and then I see we have a uh, short signal, a short signal, and then two change for previous trends, and we started moving um, in a positive direction again. It's pretty cool. Now on the movement to B chart, it's a little harder to read, a little bit more trickier, but it's pretty simple. And we're going to look at the daily chart. The daily chart has a get cash flow positive range for November. That's this green. The volume has been up for the majority of November. Um, it looks like the volume is down a little bit right now. Momentum is almost off the charts. And the long signal, this little green dot here, we are riding. We rode up through that signal. 
that went off on November 6th. Then we hit a sell signal and we're trying to, to um, get some clarity here. It has not been, well, actually the sell was confirmed. That's that line right there and a slight pullback. Now, if we look at the uh, four hour chart on the movement 2B chart, it actually looks more aggressive, looks more positive. Look at this long signal, we're riding up to that chart, but we did hit a sell point right here and it is agreeing up here with this bearish continuation. So Cardano is experiencing a little bit of a pullback. Looks like the momentum's falling back, cash flow's dropping, volume's dropping. And then the two hour chart, uh, uh, definitely confirmed on the two hour chart. Look at that, boom, it is definitely pulling back, which is fine because you don't want anything that's gonna go up continuous. That is not healthy, guys. Uh, everybody's like, oh, oh, like, it's like, yes, we're going to the moon, we're going to the moon. Then they're like, should we sell? Like, you drop 3%. Seriously? Ah, uh, so crazy. By the way, if you guys are still here, I know you hit that like button, and I appreciate it. If you had not had a chance to hit that like button yet, please stop. Give me a tip. Give me a blessing. Say thank you. Help support me, my channel, our channel, and hit the like button, all right? And while you're at it, you might as well subscribe and you'll be updated whenever I upload a new video. All right, let's jump right back into this. All right, so we're going to look at Cardano right here with the VRVP chart here. Um, these are the Bollinger Bands right here. And we are with a daily chart. We're just riding the top bullishness of the Bollinger Bands way past the median line. Um, you can see right here the volume is high. RSI, which is short term, is off the hook bullish. RSI, I'm sorry, stochastic RSI short term. Long term is RSI, and that is also off the hook bullishness. If we look at the four hour chart, you can see a little bit of a pullback on the RSI, but we're still in bullish territory. And the same goes, for, I'm sorry, statistic RSI. The same goes for RSI down here. Now, on a two hour chart, we are definitely pulling back actually to the median line on the statistic RSI. But this, the RSI looks like it might be trying to turn around. We have to see where it goes. And not to say the least, but the Bollinger Bands are pulling back towards that median right there. All right. Now, let's take a look here at this chart with Cardano. I just looked at it. I was curious and answered my question. The 20-day, it is riding on the 20-day moving average. We're above it. We're above the, the 20 is the purple. The green right here is the 50-day. Um, Orange is 100 and red is 200. For the daily, that's a four. Let's do the daily chart. No, let's do the four hour chart. And it's a perfect spread right there. I don't really know how to describe it. That's exactly how you want to see it. It gets no better than that. Ichimoku on a four hour chart, chart is predicting out the next four days to be bullish for Cardano. And the daily chart, eh, daily chart's a little iffy. I like the four hour chart with Ichimoku personally. I've had most confidence with that. So after looking at my charts, what is Cardano in my opinion? I say short term pullback long term extremely bullish for the rest of this month but there is definitely signs of a short-term pullback okay but don't get shaken out of your bag just sit on them guys all right um charles hoskinson wanted to talk about this he changed his image on twitter if you don't know he took a trip to spacex but he signed an agreement um a non-disclosure agreement an nda and so we don't know what it is but so I got curious. So I went on Gemini and was like, hey, Gemini, that's the, I'll, I'll read what I wrote. I wrote, Charles Hoskinson of Cardano recently visited SpaceX and said the biggest deal of his lifetime was in the works, but he has a non disclosure agreement. Can you speculate upon what this could possibly mean? Him going to space, business deals, whatever you think could possibly be the reason. This is what Gemini responded back to me with, and I thought it was pretty awesome. We'll start using this, guys. <laughs> Charles Hoskinson's uh, recent visit to SpaceX and his subsequent statement about a major um, undisclosed deal have sparked significant speculation within the crypto community. While the exact nature of this deal remains shrouded in secrecy due to the non-disclosure agreement, several possibilities have emerged. One, SpaceX collaboration. One of the most intriguing possibilities is a direct co co collaboration between Cardano and SpaceX. This could involve using Cardano's blockchain technology for various space related applications such as secure and transparent supply chain management, tracking the movement of critical space components and materials, satellite data verification and sharing, ensuring authenticity and integrity of data collected by SpaceX satellites. Let me get a drink, guys. Decentralized space finance, 
creating a platform for funding and managing space projects through decentralized finance DeFi protocol. Number two possibility, personal space travel. Another possibility, although less likely, is that Hoskinson himself might be involved in personal space travel project. Given his interest in cutting edge technology and his entrepreneurial spirit, it's not entirely out of the realm of possibility. Number three, strategic investment. Hoskinson could be making significant investment in SpaceX or another space-related company, potentially using Cardano's treasury funds or other resources. This could align with Cardano's broader goal for fostering innovation and supporting cutting-edge projects. Number four, policy and regulatory engagement. The visit could be also related to policy and regulatory discussions surrounding space exploration and commercial space activities. Hoskinson's influ influence in the crypto industry could be leveraged to shape the regulatory landscape for space-related technologies. It's important to remember that these are just speculations based on limited information available. Blah, 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 blah. But anyway, I thought it was pretty cool, you know, because everybody's speculating. But I got more faith in um, AI with its speculation with this. So I'm going to go with number one, SpaceX collaboration. At least that's what I'm hoping for. If he goes to space, that's cool. He did talk about climbing Mount Everest before the previous bull run. I was kind of annoyed by that, actually, because it's risky. But um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, next one up. Uh, article right here. Charles Hoskins says, Corbett CEO is the only one candidate for crypto czar of the White House. Uh, basically, Charles Hoskins, the founder of Cardano, has expressed his support for Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong to take on the role of crypto czar at the White House. In a detailed post on social media, media Hoskins pointed out that Armstrong has been an influential figure in the cryptocurrency space. Things are going to be changing. His are going to roll. People are going to get fired. They have to move on, resign. And I think Trump is going to open cryptocurrency. I mean, oh, the U.S. government is going to become softer, um, more accepting, um, foster in the new technology. Times change. And you got to change the world for more. You get left in the dust. So speaking from a middle-aged man who's starting to become left in the dust slowly but surely because I can't relate with those young whippersnappers. It is what it is. All right. All right. Next article that caught my attention was Cardano on-chain activity soars as ADA rockets above 80 cents. Uh, very quickly, very briefly here. According to data from popular on-chain analytic platform sentiment, ADA transaction volume reached 52.26 billion this week, marking a seven-month high. Whale transactions, on the other hand, exceeded 8,900 for the second consecutive week and formed a six-month peak. That is pretty exciting. The momentum coincides with ADA's price ratio against Bitcoin during the eight month high. Historic trends show that similar spikes in transaction and relativity last occurred in June, proceeding on over 26% rise in ADA Bitcoin pair. Um, there was something down here that I caught my eye though that did disturb me. Correction soon. A separate analyst by the Into the Block revealed that the total number of Cardano address, addresses have dropped by 30,000 since November 5th. This decline suggests a wave of profit taking by investors who capitalize on a rally, uh, potentially uh, cashing out of their token substantial upward momentum. And that's why I said when I was looking at the charts, I think there is a little bit of a bull pullback about to take place or currently taking place or already did take place. Um, but don't panic. Don't get, matter of fact, yeah, we're already recovered. Don't get shaken out of your bags, guys. As we're in exciting times, don't go chasing the next best thing. If stick with your heart, follow your gut, um, stick with projects you believe in, projects that you're confident will be here next bull run. All right. A lot of things disappear. Trust me on it. Um, if you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. All right. Also, I have a little crypto t shirt store I've been working on. Check it out. Um, help a brother out. Got some Cardano stuff in there. I need to get it going. I, I was building it and then I got lazy. So I need to get it going, but there's definitely some Cardano stuff in there. If you're a Cardano fan, you know, help me out a little bit. You know, it is what it is. And subscribe to the channel. Leave comments. Leave suggestions. You know, tell me a project for me to check out. Do a video on. All that kind of stuff. But until next time, stay Cardonian. All right, guys. Peace out.